be sure to head to patreon.com slash kingofclubsyt to help support my channels. That's patreon.com slash kingofclubsyt. Link will be in the description. There are plenty of reward tiers, so please check it out. Hello everybody, King Club's back once again. It's time to get into the King Book series, episode 3 of King Book's Mammoth. <clears throat> Got a packed card that's hot after our pay-per-view of Super Brawl, Super Brawl this past Sunday. So we're gonna get into see what going to get into it and see what happens, kind of the fallout as we start building towards our next pay-per-view next month. <clears throat> Got a packed card, seven matches for you guys. Alrighty. Get the Rock and Roll Express taken on the Mega Bucks in non-title action. Possibly leading towards a future tag title match. We'll just have to shift to see what plays out. A lot of potential new angles for everybody. Here come the Mega Bucks. Calling out the champions. Oh, and a brawl is ensuing out on the floor. And it looks like the tag champions got the better of it for the moment. Even the big Andre has been taken down. Oh, wait a second. Man, our man catching Morton from behind. Now Morton being thrown into the ring. Referee calls for the bell as DiBiase starts getting the ring. <clears throat> Break of the back. And fans up in the biggest uh, supporters of how the new tag team champions Rock and Roll Express have been behaving thus far. Well, interesting. Harvey Gibson not electing to tag his buddy there. I wonder if that's supposed to signify anything going on with the tag champion. That's conspiracy and speculation. Oh, and Andre coming in now. Oof. Just wearing out Ricky Morton. Morton trying to fight back. <clears throat> but Andre, being that he is a giant. Oh, just kind of there. Look at that outpower. Oh, big backbreaker. over the spine of Morton. He's got to still be a bit sore. Had a, had a match against the team of Bam Bam and Tatanka. And right now, Morton's just getting picked apart by Andre. And the Mega Bucks in firm control. Nice jawbreaker there. And drop toe hold. Giants down. And that's the strategy you gotta employ against someone the size of Andre. Take out the legs so they can't overpower you. you. Can't stay on his feet. Oh no. Oh look at this. Andre with a tombstone of his own. Go for pin one. Two. Two and a half. Andre. Oh, big back body drop. That kick to the spine. And 
I'm more than able to counter out of it. Spikes the DET. Going into the cover. One. Two. Oh, Andre able to kick out. Probably the first time in a while that Andre has been dropped so so dramatically. And Morton finally able to tag out. In comes Gibson. Oh no. Gibson went to the corner. Oh no. It's laid out by Andre who tags in Ibiasi. Ibiasi and Gibson fighting it. Fighting it out for the moment. Back and forth. Oh no, DiBiase hanging him up on the top rope. Now dragging Gibson towards the ropes. And hanging him up on the top rope. Uh oh. To the mill rope there. Oh, he got caught. Caught with a punch from Morton to save his partner. Now Diaz is going to go after Morton. Ooh. Counter punch and a shoulder tackle. <clears throat> oh, wait a second. Andre pulls. Gibson out onto the floor. You guys are going after Morton again. Trying to work him over. Oh! Oh no, million dollar dream. You guys, he's got the million dollar dream locked in on Robert Gibson. Able to escape. <clears throat> Tag made to Andre. Ooh, big punch to the midsection. Andre fighting out of it. Oh, look at this. Nice head scissor takeover. Had to get way up there though to get, to get up to Andre's head. Look at that. Robert Gibson considered to be the stronger of the two. <clears throat> Trying to fight back into this. Morton back up on the apron. Ooh. He dropped to the face. A running bulldog. Oh, looks like Andre may have a cut on his forehead. Gibson able to get Andre to go out to the floor. And Andre's reeling. Oh! Well, it was reeling. Oh, nice headlock takeover. I think the lack of blood is disorienting the big man. If we count to four. Oh no. <clears throat> oh look at this. Strength on display. By, Mo by Gibson. Oh no. Laying Andre out. Not able to... Rolling back in the ring at the count of eight. Tag made to DiBiase. Oh!
Just been trying to fight back in. Able to hit a suplex on the million dollar man. <clears throat> Andre out on the floor. Nice Andre takeover. There he goes for a scoop slam. He gets knocked out of the ring for his troubles. Mega Bucks out on the floor. Ricky Morton comes back in. Look at the fly here. Oh no, he gets sidestepped by a million dollar man. Oh no. A nice counter there. Nice back elbow. Free count to four. Five. Morton in control for the moment. Rolls DiBiase back in. Uh oh. Roll up. One. Two. Almost had him. Ooh. Nice counter there. Look at this. Oh, shades of Ric Flair going after the knee with the figure four leg lock. Now able to get a very strong hold on him. But able to slow him down. Man, fighting back and forth. I think he's running out of gas. Gibson distracting the referee. Now double team by the Rock and Roll Express. Tag team champions. Oh, nice slam. They rolled him towards Andre though. Tag made to Andre. Oh no. And the Goliath is in. And look at, look at Gibson here. Firing all cylinders. Staying the counters on the big man. Going for a cover. Andre able to kick out before one. Oh, Andre whips him into the steel steps. Now trying to get attention to, Rick, to Ricky Morton. Oh, Morton fighting back. Oh, it's clobbered by Andre. Oh, big slam. And, oh, there's a big elbow drop. One, two, three, and the Mega Bucks get the win. So a hard fought back and forth match. See the Mega Bucks picking up the victory. A lot of back and forth action. It seemed like the champs were in control a fair amount of the match. Look at that display of strength there by Robert Gibson. But so we could be looking at future challengers for the tag team titles. Andre with a bit of blood on his face. Doesn't really seem to care. Let's move on to our next matchup. We got Nikki Bella 
taking on Maurice, Nikki the women's champion here on main event. Defeated Beth Phoenix this past Sunday. Albeit with a bit of help from Bree. But Bree's gonna be in action against Beth Phoenix here after this matchup. So because of that, Nikki should be here by herself. Wait a second. There's Mickey James. Mickey James sneak up behind the women's champion. Oh no. Kicking Mickey while she's down. Mickey fighting back. Oof. Rock her face first. Oh no. Just hammering Nikki with that title. Referee calling for this to be thrown out. My goodness. Chaos. Well, we're gonna we're not gonna get Maurice. But we are gonna get We are gonna get Beth Phoenix taken on Brie Bella. <clears throat> so Mickey James was trying to attack the champion and got beat up for her troubles. Comes with the Glamazon Beth Phoenix. Beth looking to get back on track after her loss to Nikki Bella. So since she can't get her hands on a champion, she'll she says she'll gladly settle for her sister. Saying that it was that what's good for Beth and bad for Bree is that Bree is Nikki's twin. She already looks like she already looks like the one that she wants to beat up. <clears throat> Here comes Brie Bella, wife of one Daniel Bryan. A mother, and still a. Still a good athlete. Oh no! Bet not wasting much time going after Bree. Oh, targeting the ribs right now. Big chop trading right now. Bree's starting to fight back. Going for a suplex on the Glamazon who escapes. Oh, nice waist lock kick down from behind. Snapmare take over all into a dragon sleeper. Put on the rope though. I don't think Beth really cares though. <laughs> Throwing three over the top onto the floor. Back down here on the ringside area now. Beth is free up on her shoulders. Three gets the counter to the DET though. <clears throat>
Free celebrating a bit. Oh no, it gets hung up on the top rope. Oh, big rib breaker. Now that's working over the head and neck of Bree. Big scoop into that reverse torture rack. Accordion backbreaker, as some have called it. Looking to make Bree tap out. <clears throat> and able to get the submission as Bree's able to reverse into the arm drag. Oh no. Looked into the corner. Oh. Got boot to the face. Ray trying to fire up here. Oh no. Might be caught in the glam slam though. Oh! Slam face first into the pin. One, two. Bree showing some resiliency. Able to kick out of the glam slam. Nikki James being tended to right now by our trainers, medical staff. Meanwhile, Nikki in the back being restrained. She wanted to keep beating up Mickey James for attacking her. <clears throat> so what that means for Bree is that she's on her own against the Glamazon. Oh! And the Glamazon getting out her frustrations on Brie Bella. Oh no, twisting around again. Just twisting around the spine. Letting her go finally. <clears throat> oh. Big forearm to the face. Oh, look at this. Scoop up and then another backbreaker. And Beth is just going to work on Brie Bella. Oh! Back elbow connecting to the jaw. Now stomping on the face. Yeah, I believe that Bree's not not happy to be involved in this match. Nice counter there. Oh, a Northern Light Suplex. Bree trying to fight back. Fire herself up. Oh. Didn't get her very far though. Oh, another dragon sleeper locked in. Very able to fight out. Pure Bree. It's not where you really even want is to be in the corner. Oh, look at this a bulldog. Ten, one. Now a kick out before two. Kick to the spine. Restarting to show some life here. That's quickly extinguished. Oh, nice kick into the corner.
appears that that Phoenix is gassed. Oh, kick to the face. Appears to be gassed, I should say. Nice counter there. Oh, drop toe hold. Oh. Look at that show of strength. Lamb's on power personified. Oh no. We're looking up for another glam slam. It looks like oh into the cover. One, two, and the resiliency on display by Brie Bella. Beth is just not holding anything back. Going for another glam slam. Oh planning her. One, two, three. Your winner, Beth Phoenix. That was a good back and forth match up there. And Beth dominated for a good portion of the, of the match, especially during the beginning. Blindsiding Nikki before the bell even rang. Or she blindsiding Brie. Sorry, I'm still on the fact that Nikki was in a brawl just before this match. Looks like Amazon might earn herself an opportunity at the women's title again if she continues to pick up wins like that. I gotta give credit to Bree for being resilient and fighting back into the match. <clears throat> Alrighty. Moving on to the next one. We got Intercontinental Champion Big Boss Man in a non title match against the Godfather. Looking to make a name for himself. He beat Gold Dust last week. So we'll see what happens this week. Boss Man defeated Brutus Beefcake to win the IC title. <clears throat> Here comes the Godfather with his female escorts. That's a the polite way of putting it. You know, in all seriousness, <clears throat> I'm glad that Carter Wright, the guy who played the Godfather, got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. I wish they would have just inducted him in as himself, though. Or even as one of his other personas, but they inducted him as the Godfather. And the, the only problem I have with that is the fact that Godfather is a pimp. And that's kind of the whole thing, is it's not the most flattering or redeemable character to be portraying <clears throat> because of how historically how pimps treat their their women in fact they treat them like property but you know it is what it is it's time once again for everybody to come aboard the man I know that I ain't the only one is there really pimps out Do you all y'all that know that 
the Godfather be pimping hoes. Man, I want to hear you from the top of this building to the front row and everybody in between. Light it up for the Godfather and say... I mean, don't get me wrong. He was wild. He was wildly entertaining in the role, but it, it's just the theme of the character is not the best. But if they had inducted him just as himself, they could have they could have truly encapsulated not only the Godfather character but also Papa Shango and also, um, comma, the Supreme Fire Machine. Here comes your Cardinal Champion, Big Boss Man. Boss Man says <clears throat> that prostitution is illegal, and Godfather's going to be serving some hard time for his for his wrongdoing. Oh, big boot to the face. A kick to the spine. Bossman going right after the Godfather. Ooh, I'm not able to get hardly any offense in thus far. Oh, there he goes. Ooh. Oh. For sure, Block Boss Man knocked him down on his butt. Wait a second. There's Gold Dust. Gold Dust distracting the Boss Man. Wait a second. A roll up there. Into the ropes, thankfully, for Boss Man's sake, but. Oh no! Boss be knocked out onto the floor. So interesting, it seems like Goldust is pairing up with the Godfather who defeated him last week. <clears throat> oh no! Goldust gets a big boot to the face for, for his trouble. Oh, a big beal there by Boss Man. This could be an interesting new alliance. Wonder why Goldust has chosen to side with the man who beat him last week. He's helped out a little bit by causing some distraction. <clears throat> well, there he is up on the apron now again, distracting. Distracting boss man. Oh! Watch me able to fight his way out. Up, oh, going for a slam. Oh no, for a corner avalanche, didn't connect. And now it's a big slam from Godfather, who hits the big elbow drop. And power on display by the Godfather. Uh oh. Oh, and spine buster there by Boss Man. Going for the cover. Gold Dust on the apron again, distracting the referee. Boss Man says no. Now we're going to do things. Oh! Lays him out with the clothesline. Referee.
Uh oh. Bossman looking to knock Godfather off the apron. Godfather now going up top. Oh! Elbow drop to the spine. Going for a pin. Bossman able to kick out. So I wonder what this weird oh alliance is between Goldust and Godfather. Godfather could be looking for the pimp drop. Oh it's called the Larry instead. Oh, you're looking for a spine buster. And taken down. Knocked towards the corner. Oh Ready to get on the hoe train. Here comes the Godfather. Oh, big splash in the corner. Going into the pin. Boss being able to kick out though before one even. Wow. Strength and resiliency by the boss man. Ooh. Oh, there's the big boss man slam. One, two, three. Bossman gets the win. So it essentially, it became a handicap match with uh, Goldust coming out there. Look at this. Got up with one big spine buster early on. The Goldust went and distracted the referee. Which could have been in the match there. Is that running corner avalanche of the Godfather? Forearm shot, and then it led into the boss man slam. We'll just argue with the referee. <clears throat> and so the champion with a good showing. But could we have seen a new alliance between Goldust and Godfather? Only time will tell. We'll have to stay stay tuned to that developing story. So we have Ryder and Hawkins taking on <clears throat> Bam Bam and Tatanka. Bam Bam and Tatanka were unsuccessful in capturing Tag Team Gold. So now it seems that DBOC is going to take it upon himself to try to capture the titles. But he wants them to try to redeem themselves by knocking off another tag team. And our man said that if they can't get the job done, he might release them from his employ. In other words, Bam Bam and Tatanka can't get a victory tonight. There's a good chance they'll be fired from DiBiase's corporation. It's an interesting thing because despite signing with the Million Dollar Man, Katanka is still loved by a majority of the main event audience. I 
I think part of that's causing some some friction, so to speak, some some problems between Tatanka and and Bam Bam. Their morals do not quite don't quite line up for the two team for the two. Here comes Ryder and Hawkins. Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins. Excited, hyped up, and ready to go. Interesting to see what develops with this new team. No, not new team, but this reunited team. Still fairly new to the reunion. But can you imagine if they beat Bam Bam and Tatanka? Not only will they earn a win for themselves, but they'll also be responsible for than being let go from the services of one million dollar man who as you notice is not out here after their match against Rock and Roll Express and I'm agreeing to start this match off Zack Ryder starting his, this, off, this match off for his team excuse me ooh Bam Bam starts the hard right hand and a headbutt to Zack Ryder Immediately using this power against Ryder. Ooh, a couple of kicks, then an attempted drop kick gets swatted away. Ryder fighting back though. Oh! Just to eat a clothesline. Oh no, referee goes down. Oh, getting sandwiched in the corner and then a big field toss from across the ring. Hawkins tried to get involved. Bam going to make him pay for it as well. Tag made to Tatanka. And comes the Native American kick to the midsection of Ryder. You know, Ryder said he was happy to be on main events against the square off with a bunch of legends in their prime, thanks to the thanks to the use of time and space technology. Oh, drop kick to the back of the head. Oh. We may have gone for a tag and, and Kurt Hawkins got off the apron. So trying to shorthand his partner there. And now he's asking for it. But instead gets brought into the ring by the Native American Tatanka. Locks the uh Ooh. Ryder fighting back into this. Oh, I'm just beating him head first into the turnbuckle padding. That guy's getting worked over here by by Tatanka and Bam Bam into the trail. One. Sure, Hawkins makes the save. Bam Bam runs them off. And Bam Bam and Tonka there. Working very well together. Because they realize that without Million Dollar Man, it's going to be hard for them to get opportunities. You see, he's got the connection though. Ryder now. Fighting back into it. 
Makes the tag finally to Kurt Hawkins. Double team here. Oh. Nice double team there. Oh, Kurt Hawkins is caught with the back elbow. Bam Bam has his back turned and Tatanka finally makes the tag. Oh, big scoop slam by Bam Bam on Kurt Hawkins. Oh, roll up. Roll up here. And Hawkins almost stole one. Looking over to that big bald head of Bam Bam Bigelow. Look at this, stepping on the taped hands and fingers. And bam Bam, nice strategy there, trying to take away some of the grip of the big guy. Now you're seeing some aggression from, from Hawkins. Nice back body drop there. Bam Bam, going to suplex. Oh, nicely done. Tag made. In comes Zack Ryder. Hits a drop kick on Bam Bam. Bam Bam now in the corner. Oh no. Oh, double ch up. And a drop kick again from Ryder. Bam Bam. Seems a little sluggish at the moment. Oh, caught in the ear with a... Oh no. Greetings from Asbury Park. Oh god. Ryder is down. Hawkins starting to get back up slowly. Bam Bam with that moonsault from the top rope. Going for the pin. One. Two. Save made by Kurt Hawkins. Ooh, takes the DT though from Tatanka. And I'm looking to tag out. Ryder trying to keep him away from, from his partner. But he's able to make the tag and a double team. Oh! Nice double cross body. One, two, Kick out two and a half by Ryder, showing that resiliency. The never quit spirit and attitude that he possesses. Oh, nice clothesline there. By the Native American going for a cover. One. Oh no. Hawkins in the big make the save. Bam Bam's gonna throw him around for his trouble. Ooh. Tonka, the big chop. Going up to the top rope now. Oh no! Went for the Tomahawk shot, missed. Well, he slipped there. So, Snake Eyes, oof. Going for trails in, or into the trail. Whatever you want to call it. It's a big slam. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey man, and Tatanka, the motivation worked. That victory. If Miladar Man holds up his word, he will continue to watch the backs and and, and keep Bam Bam and Tatanka in his in his corporate folder. Look at that Bam Bam moonsault. The agility of a man that size is just incredible.
Yeah, there's been a, a handful of athletic big men. Do that right in there, right in the action. Look at this. Oh, I went for the tomahawk chop, but didn't really connect. Kind of slipped there. Once I wonder if Tonka may have hurt himself. Bam Bam and Tatanka, they are victorious. Alrighty. Got a couple more matches left for you tonight. Let's go on and get the next one loaded up here. So we got the Warrior, current World Heavyweight Champion, taking on Triple H in a non-title match. And this is prime, thanks to time and space technology, we have Prime Warrior taking on arguably the best of Triple H. And here comes the champ. Wait a second. There's Roddy Piper. What's Piper doing? He's kind of making his way towards the ring. Warrior. Oh no! Drop face first. Now Piper's going after after Warrior. The Warrior's trying to fight back. We're supposed to be a match with Triple H here. But we may not get it. Oh, I'm very atomic drop. By Hot Rod. I was gonna wonder what Piper's doing here. Oh, he's supposed to land out over the top rope. Free calling for some assistance. Ooh. So far, no one, no security or anybody's come out to stop these two. And the champion. Oh, went for an elbow drop instead of his patented splash. Oh, nice and very atomic drop there. Or excuse me, regular atomic drop. Birds the other way around. Uh oh. Piper up. Oh, and Gorilla press slam. Oh, but Piper fights back though. Knocking the champ out of the ring now. Look at this, a suplex on the floor. Oh, that, that thin padding. Oh. Oh, battling at ringside. Oof. This is just a brawl. I don't think we're going to have, have a match tonight between Triple H and Warrior. Or just a debacle, we gotta get some control out here. So speaking of debacle, speaking of, of chaos, we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin about to take on The Undertaker. It'll be interesting because we've got Undertaker in his many prime versions of himself. So if you think about it, throughout the majority of his career has been dominant. Stone Cold Steve Austin has been dominant at varying points of his career of the Stone Cold era of, of Steve Austin's career was particularly dominant. He was also dominant as as part of the Hollywood Blondes, even though he was by himself just as stunning Steve Austin. <clears throat> 
be held up against the likes of Ricky Steamboat. So much so at one point even having the words Dragon Slayer on his trunks. The only point, and it's hard to call it a weak point because of where he was placed. But if there was a low point of his career, it would have been the Ringmaster era. Which if you think about it, he didn't partner up with Ted DiBiase being given the million dollar championship. That's not the worst thing that can happen to you. There are worse there are worse fates people have suffered. Anyway, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Prime Stone Cold taking on one of the best versions of the Undertaker. The best incarnations of the Undertaker. Thanks to our time and space technology at its finest. Phenom is here. We're gonna chill over the arena. Okay, interesting to see what develops going forward. We got word that Piper and Warrior have been separated in the back. But this could possibly lead to the matches between the two in the future. The audience behind the Undertaker for the moment. Oh! This is a pay-per-view quality match anywhere. In fact, 1999, this was the main event of SummerSlam. Undertaker. Oh! Snake Eyes on Stone Cold. Knock him over the top rope to the floor. Oh, Stone Cold. Tripping up the dead man. Looking off the ropes. Went for a knee to the midsection. Looks like he may have hurt himself. We're three down. Undertaker rolled out to the floor. Oh no. Stone Cold caught him. Knocked him back off the apron. Are going for a suplex? Oh no! Take his call at the clothesline. Oof! Stone Cold being thrown around by the dead man. Going for a back suplex. Oh, rocking right down that injured neck. Previously injured neck. One. Everyone knows that Steve Austin has a history of neck injuries. Dead man looking to exploit that if he can. Austin going to work on the Undertaker. Ooh, nice counter there. Oh, big uppercut. And Austin with the fast hands. That is press and rain down the punches. Looking to put away the dead man early on. Neat. Oh, hits him with a stunner. Going for the pin. One. Archer kicks out. 
Raptor 1. My god. Take her kicking stunk all the way. Take her has Austin. Taking him towards the ropes. Walking along the top rope like it's a tight rope and diving down on him. Oh no, it could be going for a choke slam. Oh, Lance Austin. Cover. One. Two. Stone Cold kicks out two. Rare time that you'll see Undertaker spending more time taunting rather than going after his opponent. Oh! There he goes, right back to work on the head and neck, and now just rain down punches on the Texas Rattlesnake. Nice counter there by Stone Cold. Oh no, he's caught. Oof. Yeah, Bulldog taking down the dead man. Uh oh, that's press and fast hands again. Cover attempt. But Taker kicks out yet again. This time at one. Don't hold. Oh no, we're going for a stunner. Taker able to escape. Oh! Said he's a DT. Now Austin trying to roll him up. One. Kick out. Before two. Fair clothesline there from the rattlesnake. Oh, gets tangled up in the rope. Oh no. Now getting caught on a tombstone. Right down top of the head. One. Two. Stone Cold kicked out of the tombstone. Undertaker take a moment to pause and reflect. Oh, now he starts raining down punches again. Oof. Big back body drop. Oof, grabbing at that trapezius muscle. Austin able to get back up. Throwing Undertaker and goes over the top up to the floor. These two have such a storied rivalry. Oh, Undertaker now. Ooh, dropping Stone Cold on the floor. Oh, there's that front flip lariat. The air taker. Stone Cold being rolled back into the ring now. Oof. Austin just being taken to task. Taker scooping him up. Could be going for another tombstone. Oh, plants him. Is he too close to the ropes, though? His foot actually might be too close to the ropes. Undertaker didn't even have enough energy to follow it up. With a more traditional cover, just barely to get the arm over. And the referee told him no. Big back elbow. Oh, another belly to back suplex. Undertaker 
seems to be showing some signs of fatigue in this match. Also able to fight back. Ooh. Through the punches. Now throwing Taker out of the ring again. Or what Stone Cold's got planned out here. Running around the ringside area. Big elbow drop on the floor. I'm just being thrown around. If we count to five. Oh! And face first off the post. Air Taker back in the ring. Re referee still counting, so I'm called on the floor. Eight. He's also going to make it in. Nine. Referee's count's broken by the Undertaker. Oh, one for that front flip lariat. Got caught. Now, Austin stomping a mud hole. Locking it dry. Let's press one more time with the fast hands. Taker's been lacerated. One. Two. Three. Stone Cold got the win. Yeah, he had to earn it, but he got the victory. Undertaker bleeding, rolled out to the floor. Austin's not done. Oh! Brutalizing the Undertaker now. Oh! A bloody and beaten Undertaker is laid out by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. That is it for main event tonight. King Books main event episode 3 in the books. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for Velocity, the pay-per-view for NXT and 205. Until next time everybody, remember to be cool and have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Get your Camp Clubs goodies at Zazzle.com slash Camp Clubs YT. That's Zazzle.com slash Camp Clubs YT. You can find all types of merchandise there. Be sure to check the link in the description for more.